Hi everyone, this is Mortaza and you are watching one of my videos about Visual Studio. In these videos, I'm teaching you how to be a better and more effective coder in Visual Studio. In this video, I'm going to talk about regions. In my full course uh, titled Writing High Quality Code in C Sharp, I have talked about how we organize our members in a class. For example, we have our properties, then our, our constructors, if any, then we've got our methods. Uh, this is, of course, a convention, so the, your code will compile if you put your constructor at the beginning and then your properties at the end of your class, but it is a convention and we should uh, follow these conventions. Now, regions are a technique that we can use to organize the members in a class. By default, Visual Studio makes use of uh, regions. For example, when you declare a class even, there, there is a kind of a note here when you uh, click it, all the, all of the class uh, members and everything in that is uh, collapsed. And then when you uh, click this part, or of, cur of course, double click this part, everything is expanded. Or, for example, in the case of a constructor, we've got all of these capabilities. But suppose I want to group all of my properties in a class, in a region, and I want to be able to hide all of them or show all of them, show all of them by a single click. Not only that, I want to choose a title for that region. All I have to do is to select my properties, then right click, and then here I've got snippet, and then surround with, or control K, control S, and then I've got region. So let me do it with my shortcut key, control K, control S, and then I've got region, and I'm going to choose a name for my regions, and then here it is. I mean, you can very easily uh, group the members of your class using a region. Using regions is of course very effective, but if you use them, uh, you know, uh, to access, it is going to make your code uh, less readable and it is going to make your code less maintainable. So do not use them uh, for every single method. For example, for this, uh, for for a simple constructor, do not use a region or for each and every method do not use a single region. Uh, using regions to, to uh, group all of your properties in a one uh, in, in a single region is very effective. Of course, it can uh, kind of uh, group all of your members. And then, for example, for your constructors, you can say Control K, Control S, and here use constructors. And for your methods. Control K, Control S, region, methods, and then you will be able to categorize the members of your class. This is very effective to organize your code. So, thank you for watching this free video on Visual Studio. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube to watch all of my videos and stay tuned for my upcoming free tutorials. Thanks.